Well, it, your being here at the career fair is the best move you could make because there's such a chance to, to be networked. Like most female engineering students in the early 1980s, Cheryl B. Schrader didn't have many role models, but she didn't let that stop her. Cheryl channeled her energy, becoming one of the nation's best engineering teachers and a leader in the electrical engineering profession. Engineering benefits society in many ways. It truly is the solution to the world's grand challenges in terms of energy, environment, and in health. When we look at our quality of life, our economic vitality, it really all is due to the contributions of engineers. Role models are extraordinarily important because they offer that opportunity to identify with that person who has accomplished what you might set out to do. Missouri S&T provides extraordinary opportunities for young girls and women to pursue their interest in science and engineering. There are summer camps that range from first grade all the way through the senior year in high school. This is a great opportunity for girls to mentor these students. They're here all day, they're looking to, up to somebody to give them ideas and to help them with actually creating these ideas. So they want to be just like them, they want to do everything they do. And so anything our mentors say or do in helping them, it really encourages these girls to want to explore and be like them. For women in particular, we begin in seventh grade with it's a girl thing. And then looking at high school students with Girls Go Green and Girls Go Global. And in speaking of the global issues, we have four groups of Engineers Without Borders at Missouri S&T and they provide opportunities to really influence the quality of life for those villages in which they work. The young women bring a different perspective in the solutions that the groups provide. And as you can see, like the water can start out being really clean, but as we wash in it or bathe in it, the water gets more and more dirty. And in that dirty water, there's many contaminants that can make you sick. What's interesting about our Engineers Without Borders group is that half of them are women. And in terms of the leadership of our four groups, 90% are women. And that might give you some idea of the importance young women place on truly making a difference. I'll come with you. I'll come with you. In addition to summer camp opportunities, we host FIRST Robotics competition, which is attracting more and more women every year throughout the country. It's a lot different than I thought it would be because most people think, you know, engineering is more of a guy thing, but once I got into it, I completely loved it. I never thought I would, but now I do. Uh, there's not that many girls on the team, so it's really nice to get out there and try and get other girls to join the team too. Um, We've got they, they are surprised when they first see a girl working, but when they see we can do everything that a guy can do, and team five, they want to join too. Really cool. Our female graduates go on to do great things, and they in turn inspire the next generation of female engineers. And, and that is the benefit of having role models. We have, for example, three graduates who've gone on to be astronauts, two of them are women. Sandra Magnus in 2008 spent 133 days on the space station and she blogged back to students during that time. When I went to high school in 1978 they selected the first class of women astronauts and until that point I kind of thought I was going to have to break doors down but these women came into the office and, and that broke a huge door down that I perceived in the way for us. And uh, we are very grateful and we in, in turn, you know, hope to do more for the generation behind us. I've always dreamt of being an astronaut. Being a student at Missouri S&T has prepared me to be able to get an internship out at NASA Dryden at Edwards Air Force Base in California. 
and I got to fly in zero gravity and experience what it would be like and now with the skills that I've learned and the knowledge I have from the university, I can now go out and pursue that dream. As Chancellor of Missouri University of Science and Technology, I have the unparalleled opportunity to help shape the next generation of engineers, to inspire other young girls to pursue their dreams, and to really make a world of difference.